For PC Keith Palmer at the time, it would have been just another photo with another tourist. In this instance, Stacey Martin from Miami. I asked him if he would be willing to have me take a picture with him and he was very uh, much a gentleman and very polite and came up and took a picture. He was joking around with my son um, a little bit who took the picture. Neither of them could have known it would be the last picture taken of him just 45 minutes before he was stabbed by Khalid Massoud outside Parliament. We were in our hotel room watching the news that night and um, at first his picture flashed on the television and uh, I told my husband and my daughter I think that that's the same man. I mean I cried for a minute, it was surreal, it was, it was surreal, it just makes you realize how tender or how quickly uh, things can change in life. At a passing out parade for new recruits today, the acting commissioner of the Metropolitan Police paid tribute to PC Palmer. We are mourning the loss of a brave officer, PC Keith Palmer, who died protecting Parliament and our democracy. But it is at moments like this that you truly appreciate the strength of the policing family. And as a mark of respect, the police say his shoulder number, 4157U, will be retired and not reissued to any other officer. At Charlton Athletic, a scarf was laid on the seat where he often sat. And a Just Giving page set up by the police to raise money for his family shows just how affected people have been by his story. Among the messages, you gave your life for our freedom. We are eternally indebted to you. And a truly sad day, but London and British people everywhere will prevail in your honour. By this evening, the total was heading to almost £600,000 and still going strong. Perhaps the greatest tribute to PC Keith Palmer, though, is in the actions of his colleagues. In the wake of Wednesday's attack, they're still doing their jobs, still posing for those photographs and still making people feel safe. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.